How are you guys doing tonight? Oh, I wish more people would have breathed into this motherfucker. It smells like a six-year-old yeast infection. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, anyways, my wife sent me a picture about a week ago of our seven-month-old son. They were taking a shower together. And whenever I saw it, it was cute, but I couldn't appreciate it. It gave me like a flashback. I was like three years old, and I showered with my father. And I was at that perfect height where every time he turned around, I kept getting fucking smacked. After about the third or fourth time, I finally learned to shower with my mouth shut. But, uh, anyways, I'm sure it's happened to you guys a few times. You've been hanging out with somebody you like, you've been hanging out with a friend at the same time, and your friend's saying some of the most embarrassing shit ever. You know, just trying to fuck with you in front of someone you're trying to fuck. They're like, hey, Ken, remember that one time you fucked that midget? And you're like, yeah, I do. Remember that time whenever we sat in the Florida room, we smoked weed, got drunk, and watched a lot of porn? Yeah, I do. Hey, Ken, remember that one? Mom, shut the fuck up, okay? I'm trying to fuck this bitch. Get you shut up. My mom said a bunch of embarrassing shit to me throughout my whole life. My parents are divorced. Good for him. Yeah. My dad ruined it for white men, though. He really did. It's been 15 years, and my mom has not fucked a single white dude. Okay, she's been with like three or four Italians, but don't fucking count. They're like diet black. Same black taste, but half the fucking calories. But uh, the rest of them, I guess you can probably guess, she's fucked more black men in the fucking legal system. Good for her. I have no problem with interracial dating. I don't. You can't help who you fall in love with. Love doesn't see color, or criminal records for that matter. It really doesn't. But uh, this one she was with, I really liked a lot. This black dude took my brother and I in. You know, he loved us, cared for us, cared for her, was there for us. You know, he taught me three things that I'll never forget. One, how to make an amazing jailbreak. Two, that young Jeezy's one of the greatest rappers ever. And three, when to drop the ice cube. That's a crack joke, motherfuckers. Get it? Have, you know what, just turn in all your fucking thug cards at the door. And uh, while you're at it, any uh, black motherfuckers want to go and get laid, drop your fucking number out the door also. Because, uh, right here. But, uh, anyways. No matter how many times I talked to him, no matter how many stories he told me, no matter how many times I see him get fucked with by the cops, no matter how many trials and tribulations I saw he and my mother go through, I'll never be able to relate to a modern day black man. And can you guess why? Why? It's not because I'm white, you racist motherfuckers. It's because I fuck black women. I do. I find him exotic and it pisses off my daddy. I remember the first time I went to my mom and I said, hey mom, is it okay if I date outside of my race? And she's sitting with her black boyfriend and she's looking at me like I'm fucking retarded. And she's like, hey Michael, you see me right now with my black boyfriend. How can I say no to you whenever I'm doing it? And then he looked at me like I was a retarded motherfucker. He said, dude, find yourself a fucking nice white bitch. But uh, I made quite a few rookie mistakes dating outside of my race. I did. My first one, they all happened during the heat of the moment. But my first one, you know, I was fucking her doggy style and I got a little grabby. I did. And I like to pull shit. And apparently it wasn't her hair that I pulled. That's my bad. It really is. My final rookie mistake that I made, I was behind her fucking her doggy style, had one of those tasseled whips, just whoosh, say my name, whoosh, say my name. Heat of the moment took over. I feel so bad. I went straight up roots on her fucking ass and I told her to tell me her name. I swear to God, bitch turn around about beat the shit out of me. My name's Ken Jordan, you guys have a great night. You guys take it easy. Take